Elon Musk claimed he was buying Twitter for $44 billion. And can you think of a better owner for the raging binfire that is Twitter than someone who once falsely accused a man who just saved a load of kids trapped in a cave of being a nonce? Twitter, a lovely place. And while Big Daddy Musk claimed that he'd make Twitter great again, some on the left were worried that his purchase would mean old Trumple Stillskin might be resurrected from the Twitter graveyard like Super Mario. An outlandish piece in the Mail on Sunday accused Angela Rayner of deploying basic instinct tactics simply by being a woman, wearing a skirt and having the bloody nerve to cross her legs a couple of times. The Prime Minister said he deplored the misogyny directed at her, presumably preferring his own brand of misogyny. And while women from all political persuasions rallied to show support for the Labour frontbencher, the nation awaited a similarly aggressive piece in the Mail on how manspreading your eaten educated scrotum over multiple parliamentary seats is distracting to anyone who doesn't own a pair of bollocks. And now the Tories are claiming that all of this in fact came from Angela Rayner herself. So I don't know what's going on. But I do know that Mail on Sunday is Latin for shit sandwich. Two Tory MPs were accused of watching pornography in the House of Commons, with one actually quitting, although if you think that was bad, wait till you see some of the things they voted for. Whoa, this is the bit where a heating bill goes off. It was also ruled by the High Court that the UK government had broken the law. Yeah, we knew that. No, this is something else. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is from something in 2020, when they sent infected people into vulnerable care homes at the start of the pandemic, spreading the virus and costing thousands of lives. Oh, come on, that was ages ago. There's a war on, you know. Let's move on, shall we? No. In Brexit news, Britain scrapped all planned checks on EU animal and food products at the border, making it a great time to be alive if you ship an illegal wildlife or chilled meat that's been marinated in hot Belgian piss. Or, you know, just living and working in the EU instead of Britain. Bizarrely, this decision was made after British Port had already spent £100 million of their own money to build these facilities for custom checks. Jacob B. Smog blamed inflation, the war in Ukraine, moonlight, sunshine, and indeed the boogie, and said that to push this deal into action, would be an act of self-harm, even though it was the government's idea to do it in the first place, with self-harm becoming somewhat of a theme for Brexit. Ben Stokes was made England captain and Piers Morgan launched his new chat show in the least welcome TV comeback since Crossroads. Councillors in the city of York voted to strip Prince Andrew of his freedom of the city, with Peter Express still yet to make an official comment. And talking of freedom, this week the government won a vote to take control of the Electoral Commission, a commission which is designed to keep the government in check. But now the government will control it and keep themselves in check. Where's the problem with that? Well, go and give your seven-year-old a credit card and tell them not to spend it all on Minecraft. I don't see me, kids. But Boris is going to prison. And as people rejoiced around the land, it was revealed that it was actually former tennis star Boris Becker, sent down for hiding hundreds of thousands of pounds in other people's accounts after being declared bankrupt. Did he make any backhanders? Is there a joke there? Love 40! Something about being good at the back of the court. Love 40! How does that joke work? He's gonna love 40 men in the prison showers. Oh, come on. Sorry. Thanks for watching. Give the video a like, share, or a little comment. And come and see me live. I'm on a UK tour at the moment doing stand-up. Click the link in the post or go to samaverycomedy.com for more details.